Guess what, folks? This weekend, 1,700 people, all of them animal lovers, are expected to gather at the furry convention in San Jose, California. The furries, for those of you who don't know, and I sincerely hope that that's most of you, uh, are people who love animals so much that they take on their identities and sometimes dress up like they're animals. You heard me right, folks. These humans take on the identities of the animals they love and sometimes dress up like them. It allows adults, grown-up human beings, and this is a quote, a place to act out their interspecies fantasies. 1,700 of these people in one place. Lee Strom is one of the furry convention's founding fathers. He says just because it's weird, it's still perfectly normal to the people involved in it. He's 36. He wants to be a raccoon. The convention... <laughs> convention will have workshops for the furries, puppetry, costume making, writing about mythical creatures, and here's one I think ought to be videotaped, a workshop on furry anatomy. Can you find it? Can you find it? Apparently some furries uh, aren't waiting until the convention starts this weekend to act out their interspecies fantasies. A reporter caught up with Katie Matthew 20 prancing through the lobby of a hotel dressed as a fox. She was prancing with other adults dressed as goats, tigers, and other creatures. Katie likes the fun of dressing up and escaping into her made-up animal character, which she calls Shadow. All right, folks, I only have one question. we got a war going on, and the tragedy of the tsunami. Isn't this furry convention a little bit too festive and too costly? There's a real furball for you liberals, eh? <laughs> Shut them down. Shut them down. It's perverted.